guys, so I wanted to do my fall and winter favorite lipsticks. This is actually going to be a really short video because I have a lot less than I thought I was going to have. Looking back in my lipstick drawer, I mean, I have favorites that I wear all year round, like taupe and half and half and um, blankety and like colors like hue, colors like that, but uh, like I wear them now because they are neutral colors, but it's not like a winter specific color. So I really only pulled like my fall and winter lipsticks that I would not typically wear in the spring and summer, if that makes any sense. So to start off, um, I also wanted to include only lipsticks that are available because I know how frustrating that is when somebody talks about something and you totally can't get it. So the first one is Midi Mauve. This is permanent from MAC. Most of these are MAC. And it's a beautiful, um, almost like a berry brownish color. Um, I was wearing this in my... I was wearing this in my fall and winter favorite blush video, I believe. That is the color right there. It's just a really good berry color. It is a luster, so it does have that nice... Um, glossy sheen on it. Next is Viva Glam 1. Um, I love wearing red lipstick all year round, but fall and winter is just an excuse for me to amp it up a notch. And this is definitely a deeper, darker red. I love the Viva Glam lipsticks because they go to a good cause, obviously. This is a matte. And it's right there. I'm holding on back because I feel like you get a better true to color image of it. Um, next we have the Red Velvet Lip Butter from Revlon. Um, for those of you that were curious about these, um, they are on a separate display now. I have since seen them at Ulta, Rite Aid, and Walgreens, and I've heard they're at CVS, but I have not been able to find them at CVS. But they're on a separate display, but coming the new year, um, come the new year, Revlon, um, is making them part of their permanent line, which is awesome. So that is Red Velvet. And technically it's not a lipstick, but it definitely gives you the payoff of one. So that's why I included it. Next is a Stila Longwear Lip Color. I love these. i um, surprised I don't have any more of them. And this is in the color Paramore. Love, love, love these pencils because you can line your lips with them and then fill them in. They're super creamy, very long lasting. Um, it's this one right here. And they do have like a glossy sheen. So I really love those. Next is, um, this is Max Viva Glam 5, which is hands down up there with my fav very favorite lipsticks. And again, this is a typical color that I would wear all year round. Um, but it might not be a color for everyone. What the heck was that? But I would highly suggest you try it now. Um, if you're going to try this color, definitely try it now, fall, winter, because it's a really pretty berry color. It actually comes up on me like a My Lips But Better color, but I really like it, and it is a luster. So that's that one. This is Revlon's Cherries in the Snow. Used to think this was only like a spring-summer color, but I threw all the rules out the window this, this whole year, and I'm just wearing whatever I want. So that's Revlon's Cherries in the Snow. And for reference, it's number 440. Um, it's like a reddish pink. Like I would say it's more on the pink side than on the red side. This is Chanel's Boy, which again is a color um, very similar. I'm going to actually put it right next to Viva Glam 5. That I could wear all year round, but it is a darker color. So I'm definitely going to be wearing it much more in the fall and winter. This is Chanel's Boy. And that's Viva Glam 5 from MAC. So you can definitely see um, the comparison. Very similar undertones, but um, Viva, Glam, Viva Glam 5 is definitely darker than the Chanel Boy. Um, so that is pretty much it uh, off the top of my head after looking in my drawer that I have to show you. I really love... Um, I'll just throw in a few glosses because I really don't like glosses in general. But... Um, the Cora's Lip Butter in uh, Wild Rose. This is kind of like a liquid lipstick. Kind of very similar. 
to the same color family that I've been sharing with you. It's that color there. Really pretty and it's not sticky but it is very long wearing. So I really like that. I feel like that's kind of it. Um, oh, Revlon's Fuchsia, which I did not include in this video because it is in my purse downstairs. But I've raved about that color enough. You guys know what it looks like. Um, I was wearing it in my bling cell phone giveaway if you want to see what it looks like on the lips. And I think I might have talked about it in one of my favorites videos. It's basically like a fuchsia pink. And it's from Revlon and it's really easy to find. It's um kind of like a brighter pink than Cherries in the Snow from Revlon. So I would say that's about it. Like I said, these are the colors like... These two are the exception. I do wear these all year round, but the rest of them are definitely colors I really, really wear, will wear in the fall and winter. They're typically not colors I might have worn in the past, like the reds, but like I said, I'm all about incorporating those like reddish burgundy tones, and I love them. Um, I, I have found that as much as I love berry-colored lipsticks, I don't really like them on me. It's the one color that I don't feel confident wearing, um, and I think it all depends on the undertone. Like, I'm trying to think of a color off the top of my head that I had. I think it was Radicchio, and it was part of, like, a, a collection from a couple years ago from MAC, and I, it was, like, a really pretty berry color, so I figured it would be nice, and I put it on one morning, and it just, like, clashed with my skin tone. I did not like it. It was a, a color I really thought I was going to like because it was, you know, obviously a berry-colored lipstick, but... <laughs> thought I heard Jake. But um, yeah, I didn't like it on my skin tone at all. So that's why I definitely leaned more towards the reddish burgundy um, wine colors, but not so much the berry colors. So those are my fall and winter favorite lipsticks and slash liquid lipsticks and lip butter. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I think this fall I'm definitely going to be picking up the um, Cora's lip butter in Wild Rose in the little pot just because I love the color that that gives my lips and um, it's very similar to the Stila Paramore color and if I could recommend any of these colors I would definitely check out the Red Velvet Lip Butter from Revlon, the Paramore um, Long Wearing Lipstick from Stila and perhaps I would go with the Viva Glam one from MAC just because I think it's a color that does not get talked about enough. It doesn't get given the credit that it deserves um, as far as like a red goes. I feel like there's like the cult favorite reds from the Max Permanent line and Viva Glam 1 is never like mentioned in those and I feel sorry for it. So give it some love and go check it out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. My last and final fall and winter favorites video will be of my nail polishes. I purposely saved that one for last because I feel like this is going to be a very tough video for me to make without showing you my entire collection because I just have a hard time choosing with nail polish. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a great night and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!